Palestinian officials said Israeli forces shot dead two Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, as Israeli police confirmed undercover agents had killed a wanted man in the territory. The Palestinian Health Ministry in Ramallah named the dead men as Adam Salahuddin Mansour Faraj, 23, and Mataz Khalid Sadiq Nabulzi, 28. Israeli police said undercover officers had killed a senior wanted man in the Balata refugee camp near Nablus. The undercovers entered the area near the refugee camp in broad daylight and closed in on an event hall where the wanted person was staying, the force said in a statement. The undercovers killed the wanted person by shooting on the roof, the statement said, without identifying him. The incident triggered an exchange of fire between the undercover agents and armed militants in the area who shot at the force and threw explosives, the police said. The Palestinian Health Ministry said Israeli police took one of the bodies with them. The Palestinian Red Crescent confirmed that two men were killed in an Israeli raid, adding that one belonged to a Palestinian militant group. Nine others were wounded by Israeli forces in the raid, it added. The West Bank, which Israel has occupied since 1967, has seen a surge in violence for more than a year, but particularly since the Israel-Hamas war erupted on October 7. Israeli army spokesperson Daniel Hagari announces the deaths of four hostages in the Gaza Strip, following their abduction by Hamas militants during their attack on October 7. Out of 251 people taken hostage that day, 120 are still being held inside the Gaza Strip, including 41 who the army says are dead. At least 523 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank by Israeli troops or settlers since the Gaza war broke out, Palestinian officials say.